Hello and welcome to the Unscripted Podcast. This is our first. <laughs> <That's so annoying. laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I was like, and then her hello never came out, so I was just like, well, we're leaving that in. So no, yeah, we okay, are. Whatever. Okay, okay. but <laughs> this we is still unscripted, gotta... so you need I to guess, roll with I the guess. punches, and it's very fitting. So okay, welcome. I just didn't know if we were doing it together at the same time or what. You know that is my bad because we didn't discuss that. I just we thought didn't. I would roll with the punches and see what came out. Well, I guess that's fitting. For the podcast here. Yes, indeed dandy it is. Mm -hmm. So, hello and welcome once again. I'm Alyssa Ray and this is news to everyone, but we have our co-host here. Would you like to introduce yourself? No. <laughs> okay. Hi. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't announce this, but I am hosting this podcast with my husband any thoughts? Ooh. Any comments? No, no not comments, yet. No comments. I think I just want to dive into the subject at hand. You know what? What we just recently dealt with right now, which is why we have a little doggy on the table. Um, we'll get into more introductions later, but this is the real pressing matter here. Um, go ahead, explain what happened. Um. So actually. This morning it happened also with our other little dog. Um, I took them out to go po potty, and then um, <laughs> you said that. Anyway. Oh, oh, right, right. Sorry, <laughs> trigger, trigger, we're, <laughs> trigger warning out there. <laughs> really quick for a preface for those of you that don't know, we have three dogs. We have Choco, we have Zoe, a little tiny dog, and then we have Blue, a big Great Dane. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Continue. Yeah, so I took them out, and then Zoe came back inside. She was limping, um, so I took a look at her her foot because she was like keeping it up, and she didn't want to put it down. I took a look, and I saw a like big ass red ant, and so I took it out, and then I kind of just dipped her foot into alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and. Yeah, pretty much that's what happened. She, she didn't want to, like, walk on her, her her little foot at all. Mm -hmm. She was, like, letting herself flop all oh, sad. Oh, I'm so sad. It was so sad. Um, but, yeah. Um, but she, that handled, happened, she, she, happened? she handled it. Yeah, she handled it pretty well. But that's how Zoe is. Like, she doesn't really cry. Like, she just suffers in pain. Like, suffers in pain. <laughs> <laughs> suffers in silence yeah. a lot. Like, she she won't cry or nothing like that. The only time she, she, I mean, she will, but like it has to mm -hmm. be like severe, severe pain. And that's when you know it's really bad. So that's why I wasn't like too concerned, but I was, I still felt for her. Of course, I was holding her and trying to cheer her up. And she was just like with her little paw, like she wouldn't put it down or put pressure on it. Um, but eventually it, it got better and I'll take it from here. But uh, it got better. You know, we gave her some ham, which is her favorite little treat. We don't give them that ham or anything like that often. It's just special occasions or like whenever they get hurt or something, you know, just to cheer them up because they deserve nice things too. OK, but yeah, so that happened in the morning. Everything was fine. A couple 30 minutes later, an hour or whatever, she was fine walking back on her foot again. Uh, our day went on as normal. And then we finally decided, OK, it's time to film the podcast. And we're home, and before we <laughs> before we start, Dre's like, "Oh, I'm gonna take the dogs outside because you know they have to go to the bathroom, and we don't want them to be telling us that they have to go during the the show." So exactly. you took them out, and everything was fine, and then you come back in, and then Choco starts screaming bloody murder. Now the thing about Choco, again, like I said, he. I didn't actually, I don't know if I said this, but he's very dramatic. He's the opposite of Zoe. He wants to let everybody know what his problem is, who did it, and he wants you to do something about it right now, or mm -hmm. there is no or, because he, <laughs> there's no or. Yeah. He wants you to know about it right now and do something right now, because it's the end of the world and he thinks he's dying. And so... So dramatic. Literally, <laughs> I recorded some of this um, because he was freaking out and nothing that I could do console him i was you know rub like scratching him rubbing him telling him it's okay sometimes that works but in this case i guess he was in really bad pain um and when he was screaming he it sounded like he was saying ow i don't know if you heard that but he's like ow, ow, ow. oh i guess yeah, <laughs> yeah. it yeah. sounded like that and anyway um yeah so we had to sit with him for like 
I don't know how long, 30 minutes? Like, about, about. Anyway, long story short, he just started to calm down before we started filming. Um, so we thought it'd be best to just keep him on here because he's- Any he's, comment? He's a- <laughs> He needs attention. And so um, he's very needy. And so it, it is what it is. I, I wasn't planning on, you know, introducing the dogs to the podcast this early on. But this is our lives, you know? Um, there are children. And so this is our life. <laughs> yeah. That's, so that's why he's here. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's just an interesting little tidbit that happened. Mm-hmm. I was like, before we did this, when he was, you know, crying, I was just like, oh my God, like, do we, are we not going to be able to do this? Because oh, I know. <sighs> anyway, woosah, woosah. And they say, you know, I have kids, I have kids. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> ooh, it, have you ever had a choco? Mm. It's like two kids right there. So this is the second time actually that's happened to him. This the first time was with uh he stepped he actually stepped on a bee. Mm-hmm. Um, insert um uh, <laughs> what's her name? My dog stepped on a <laughs> Amber bee. Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Mm. I honestly I, think I he feel like he was crying a lot more, more this, this time. time. Yeah. Exactly, which is weird that. because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I haven't been bit by either a bee or an ant like recently, so. I can't. I compare. have, but I I would imagine the bee hurts more. That's why. Right. That's what I think. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> either. Um. But hey, we're here. Everyone's fine, and um, the show must go on. And it will. And it does, and it as it shall. Just want to briefly thank everyone online for following the unscripted social media pages and showing lots of love. Um, when I first announced that this podcast was coming, I wasn't sure how well it would be received, and I think it it was well received, and people are excited, and I'm excited, and this has been a long time coming. I feel like I've talked about this for a while. Yeah. And I have talked about you being on the show for a while because initially I was like going to do this by myself because I was like, if you don't want to do it, it's totally fine. Like this is my journey. And if I got to do it myself, I got to do it myself. But then I was thinking like, I can't really carry, there's only so much that I can say to myself without having anybody talk back to me. Um, And I just knew it would work better, but I needed to wait until the time was right for you and I feel like it finally yeah, was. For, yeah, it's time now. Because <laughs> I didn't have to, I did not force you. You're not handcuffed here. <laughs> <laughs> He's here on his own will. And so, yeah. How do you feel about, about being on here and join me? Are you, what are the, what are the vibes like? How are you feeling? Feel pretty comfortable. Yeah. We've had a lot of talks like this. So. Uh huh. And that's why I told you too. I was like, it's going to be like, we're just, just talking. Yeah. Like we're just hanging out, having yeah. a conversation. Yeah. And I like that. And I think it's going to be chill and it's going to be fun. And we're going to make lots of memories. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, a little bit about what's on the docket for today's episode. We just thought that we would talk about like all the Hurricane Hillary stuff that happened. This was yesterday. Um, we're filming it the day after the storm hit. We can talk about that and what we did. Um, Also, I wanted to have a little like get to know us moment because we are your hosts and you should know a little bit about us and get to know the vibe. See if you and I click, if, if, if all three of us click, you know what I'm saying? So, yes. And then we'll also talk about, all you know, four of us. all four of us, <laughs> all six of us. Um, We'll also talk about no blue. Go to bed. And here is our great Dane, ladies and gentlemen, the one that we spoke of. Any words? A little earlier. He's under here if you want to. Oh, he's just, he's stretching right now. Yeah. No, it's okay. We'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think he's going to end up. He's I right think here. he's going to end up. He's right here. Ah, I see. Any words? <laughs> we also. <laughs> you said. <laughs> Let me just, I just got to (laughs) finish the last thing I wanted to say about what we're going to talk about, which was that we also asked um, the people that are following us on our socials if they had any questions that they wanted us to answer because I was very, um, 
brief, I guess. I didn't really say much about what the show was oh, going to yeah. be about and all kinds of things. So people had questions, rightfully so. So um, we're going to answer that today. But let's first talk about yesterday, <laughs> about the hurricane Hillary. People are also calling it a hurricane because Hurricwake. because of the the earthquake that hit. Didn't feel it at all. We did not. We were just chilling. Mm-hmm. Um, my goodness. Oh, dude. There he is. <laughs> There's a bit of tension between these two. You'll have to forgive us about for the interruptions and the technical difficulties and all that. Um, give us a little bit of grace, please. This is our first episode, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't feel the the earthquake um, at all. Just lots of wind, lots of rain. It was cool at first. <laughs> Because it wasn't raining early in the morning, and so we went for a oh, walk, yeah. and then it started raining. I was um, a little bummed in the beginning, because I was like, no rain, really? I know. Because it was supposed to be raining all day, but it didn't hit till... Till, like, 12 or, like, 1. Yeah, till, like, noonish. Yeah. So I was the same way, too. I was like, really? I mean, obviously, I didn't want a hurricane, yeah, I, but, I like, want I wanted crazy. some rain. I wanted to, yeah, I wanted some action a little bit, you I know? just wanted it to be cooler, because I needed a break from that heat. Yeah. So it started raining at noon <laughs> and we we went on a walk. It was fun. Then the rain started to pick up. We filmed some TikToks. Um, we were just chilling with family outside watching watching it all go down. And it kind of actually turned into a really fun day. It was. Yeah. It was. Uh, what did you do in your time? Um, so I played a little mini golf <laughs> with my brother in indoors in the house mm-hmm. off of that little toilet uh what was it called no potty putter ah. it was it was a little gag gift i i got him it's like a little mini golf thingy that you can play while you're sitting on the toilet <laughs> and uh he pulled it out just like joking and then it actually turned into real fun we did like all kinds of we made up all kinds of courses where like moving it around and stuff uh, we played so many holes, dude. Like, I'm I'm honestly kind of tired. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were having a blast. Yeah, that, it was really fun. So we have a full house right now, and so um, the guys and look, well, all the boys, even the the nephews, were mm, yeah. playing <laughs> golf, and then the girls separated. We did a little makeup challenge it's on um, TikTok and mm-hmm. reels, right? And then after that, we had. Well, you and I cooked dinner for everyone, and we had a little Sunday family dinner, and we had the pasta, we had the salad, you know. Fun fact, I'm 7% Italian, okay? So I got I got the pasta running through my veins, the garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cross me, Fredo. I, uh, I've never seen The Godfather, so I can't even do that yeah. gag, but a little bit. How can I call myself Italian? Shame. Yeah. <laughs> Um, gosh, but, but that was fun. We listened to music and it was a fun time. We had a, a leaky roof situation Ooh, yeah. go down that I did not expect to happen. So yeah, the ceiling was leaking, um, in the bathroom and then eventually your dad poked a hole in it to, can you explain that <laughs> to what? So like the, the water was dripping all over like the drywall. I'm like looking like it's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> and like there was just a bunch of water. So it was like really heavy. So it started cracking because it was just so heavy from all that water that I had. So he just drilled a hole so that all the water could come out. And so that it wouldn't end up just yeah breaking, breaking and falling. Thing. Yeah. But now that has to be. Patched you know, up. Yeah. Has to be cut out and then patched. Mm-hmm. Hey, but I mean. It- it could have been worse. It could have. So I'm thankful that it wasn't. I actually heard that, um, well, at the start of this, when everyone was making their predictions and stuff, they said that it was supposed to hit L.A. and San Diego really bad. Mm. Um, so I had <laughs> I had anticipated that we Sit. would. Sit. Sit. Go ahead. <laughs> this is the unscripted podcast. This is how you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had anticipated that we wouldn't get any rain because we're from the Coachella Valley. So yeah, we're so far away. Nothing really. We're like two, three, two and a half hours away from LA. So 
I just figured it'd be light rain or nothing at all. But apparently Palm Springs got it like worse than LA. Mm. Oh, really? Mm Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. um, Apparently there was 4.3 inches of rain in 24 hours. And for Palm Springs, that's nearly a year's worth of rain. So we never get that much rain. So we're not prepared for it, which is why all the flooding happened. And um, I was watching all those videos, you know, lots of flooding in the valley. (sighs) Quite sad. Do you know how much it rained here? In Coachella? Like in comparison to Palm Springs? I don't. I don't have those numbers. Or do you think it covers like, because you know how sometimes they'll they'll consider Palm Springs or Coachella Palm Springs? Mm Mm-hmm. Um, that I'm not sure about. I just thought we could watch some some TikToks <laughs> really quick of this one I saw. This is just this just goes to show like how much people don't care. There's there's a ongoing joke that everyone in California is like making a joke out of it and everybody so was. I it mean were. I mean even we were. Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm totally guilty of that. I made my own weather report and oh, everything. Oh yes. Um, We're going to have to show that. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to the Unscripted Podcast. I'm your host, Alyssa Ray, and as you can see, we are live reporting on Hurricane Hillary in the Coachella Valley. The storm is getting intense out here, folks. This is history. This is the first time in 84 years that a storm has hit Southern California. So right now, right here, we are witnessing history, and this is also the first episode. So welcome. I hope you enjoy, and back to you at home. (sighs) <sighs> so yeah we're so unserious here did you see this that i show you this this no. man is just at the stairs of the beach and the ocean water the the tide is obviously crazy and he's just he's just there no. yeah i'm surprised he didn't fall right there i know i thought he would too um and then i saw in the morning surfers were surfing the waves oh yeah that, that actually looked really cool it did but that's so scary that's so scary. And if I, I guess... was a surfer, that'd be me, though. Mm. Not gonna lie. It looks really fun. It looks really fun. You live on the wild side. Yeah. And here, this is here, right? You think mm. this is here? Mm-hmm. Well, it is here, but we're not exactly sure where. We, no, I we, know Are you sure? You're mm-hmm. positive? Yeah. Well, we think this is in, in our city. People were playing basketball <laughs> <laughs> in the flooded-ass courts. Um, that's hilarious. Would that be you? That that would definitely be me. That I've would always be you. yeah, I I've, I've always wanted a pool and a nice little like basketball court set up that we <laughs> and that's literally what they made right there. You know. So, like quick little tidbit, sorry. Oh, right. Um <laughs> before we came to film this, we we went out for a quick Celsius cuz I was feeling tired. And um outside of the CVS, we Club? saw sponsor no okay outside of a store <laughs> we saw <laughs> we saw this guy in a canoe oh, and yeah. he was he was canoeing or paddling or what is it i guess whatever. I, you know what i mean but he was literally in a canoe paddling and it was big when am i five years old i'm like <laughs> and uh <laughs> and it was blue, it was blue and, big and, <laughs> and it was scary so um anyways that was funny so that was our experience with the hurricane um i actually heard on tiktok i mean i don't know how true this is but um because of the hurricane that that we're that we might get more or that in the winter time that we might get like blizzards and snowstorms and it it might be bad really yeah they called it big daddy snowstorms Big Daddy Snow. Yeah, and you know how who's this in was charge the, of naming it? Mm, I don't know, but you know how this was the first hurricane to hit Southern California in eighty-four years. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah. watched your TikTok. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so like now we're just prone to like yes, more. Yes, basically, that? yeah. Wow. Yeah, and so they that he was saying the guy that was saying um like we have had several like big snowstorms like every so often here not here but like like, in california i think oh okay and like it's rare but it has happened in history so like just how this one was a long time we didn't have anything and then we had one Mm. that's what's gonna happen is what they're predicting dang so we might we might be in for some crazy weather that's crazy yeah we're we're in a global boiling now 
do you have you heard of this? I have not. No. Yeah, we're no longer in global warming. We're in global boiling. I'm not joking. Wow. Yeah, they they changed it. That sounds crazy. It is, and you know we're here for a good time, not a long time. I think death. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think there's anything after that. Wow. Um. So we're all just waiting on our impending doom Hmm. demise. Yeah. Yeah. So I think let now let's dive into the get to know us segment. So um, where do I begin? If Jason, you, <laughs> if you would have told me we are, I don't know if we're still, I don't think we're still technically considered newlyweds anymore because we're about to turn one year. I I think so. Yeah. I think within the first year. Until you, you kind of hit the one year anniversary. Pretty much, I think. Or even on, not until after. but A little after. A little after, you know. Okay. Still well, fresh. We're, yeah, we're still fresh. We haven't hit a year yet, but we're about to. Um, so that's exciting. That's a big milestone, a big accomplishment. We've known each other for half of our lives and been dating for eight, um, yep. married for one and life is good. Life is going good. We have three dogs. Mm-hmm. We're happy. Very happy. Oh. <laughs> And, um, (laughs) sorry. And I feel like we've had this like dynamic going on for ever since we've known each other. Yeah. We balance each other out really well. Beginning. Mm hmm. Um, we have the same like type of humor. We think the same. Sometimes it's scary. Like we have these like tele, telepathic, telekinetic. I don't know. I think telepathic Telepathic, uh, moments where we just like know what the other one's going to say or like we'll say something and then. He'll say something and, and I will be thinking that, but I won't say it and he'll say it or like I'll be singing a song in my head and then he'll like continue the lyric at the same time that I was thinking of that specific bar. But out loud. But out loud. Like you, like you just, you can't explain it. Um, It's weird. I guess when you know each other for that long, you just kind of like sync up like that. Um, So you're my best pal. You've been my best pal since seventh grade. And... um. Wow. Eighth grade. Yes, eighth grade. Eighth grade. My bad. Um, yeah, you're right. We met in eighth grade in middle school. That was pretty much, that's pretty, Accurate. pretty much us. Yeah. Just sums us up. Right yeah. There. But it's funny. I was thinking about this the other day um, because most married couples within their first year of marriage, they want to have a kid. And for us, this podcast is like our kid. <laughs> so like we are giving birth to this podcast and this new journey and it's exciting and there's a lot of like, unknown uh-huh there's a lot of thought that went into it too sure. um and yeah i i have been you know loving <laughs> blue's he's getting just, he's getting so antsy blue go to bed please go to bed thank you Good boy. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down. No, no, no. Sit down. Good boy. What was I saying? Um, Just that this podcast is our baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, There's yeah, yeah. A lot of thought has gone into this. Mm-hmm. There's still so much we don't know. We're learning. We're, we're learning, learning, as, learning we as, go. as we go. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of growing pains. With Maybe it. we should get him a mic or something. We should get him a seat, a bed. Well, he has a bed. He's got a bed. So I think let's just dive into the to the Q and A of the questions that okay. you know people asked us. So starting with the first one, which is a perfect segue. What inspired you to create this podcast, and was there a moment that made you decide that now was the right time? So I've been doing making videos for as long as I can remember. I can throw like some little home videos on the screen of when I was a little girl with like afro curly hair so cute um making little skits with my sisters and stuff and that's just something i've always loved to do also i just remembered um in middle no in elementary school i don't know if i ever told you this but i kind of had like another moment because you know how with daisy my best friend um in high school and middle school we used to make videos together but in elementary school i had that same kind of moment too with with my other good friend her sister, her little sister, and we 
made so your, videos. So your friend's little sister? Yes, because I wanted to make videos with her, but she was shy. Uh, and her little sister was more outgoing, and I was cool with her too. So we decided to make a show called The Alyssa and Michaela Show. Wow. And it was kind of like like iCarly inspired, because that was big when we were in elementary school. Uh, hmm. And we like did little skits. I like, this is like... Pulling do you, deep still, into do you still have? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> it, I think we might have uploaded it to YouTube, but I don't know. Would it be funny to like pull it up and react to it, or just see where you're? Where it was probably not. Oh. Well, well. Well, I mean, come on, you were. A kid. I know. I you was a kid. kid. I know, and and <laughs> that's how I'm gonna explain a lot of my content too. Up until this point, I was young, you know. Mm. Doing dumb stuff, and my frontal lobe wasn't fully developed yet, and now it is. And so, you know, from here on out, now is where you can judge me. I feel this. This is a fair point in my life where you can judge me. Um, fully grown. Anything I've done in my past, you, we just don't. That wasn't me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a different person. So, yeah. Um, but back to what I was saying. I've always loved doing this type of thing, and. After college, um, well, during college is what made me realize that I wanted to get a degree in media studies and um, follow, pursue that passion of, you know, doing audio and video stuff. And um, I created a podcast when I had an internship called Educated, and that was a educational based podcast where I talked about like student issues and things going on with students. And that was really fun. Um, but that was mostly just for my job purposes it wasn't something that I was like super passionate about but I was very happy that I got to sit down get on a mic and talk and edit and all that because that's like my happy place my passion and so um I had talked about doing a podcast for a long time I, I've, yeah you've you've been doing this for yeah. years talking like talking about that you should start one if how it'd be cool for me to be in there mm -hmm. and then it was just really like timing i wasn't ready and yeah. you weren't ready to do it by yourself and then when you were ready to do it i was like you know what it's time i i, I i'm ready for it mm -hmm. and so that's why yeah that was that was the moment that made us decide that now was the right time really it was just timing also it was just like just something I kept pushing off, like, ah, it'll, it'll come when it comes. <clears throat> um, I just realized, too, that, like, I haven't posted a YouTube video in uh, probably a year or a couple months. And and that was something, well, it is still something that I love to do. It's just it's harder now that you're older and you have a lot more responsibilities going on. And sitting down for, like, an hour, an hour and 30 a day to talk, which is something we already do, yeah. is way more sustainable and realistic now than to sit down and come up with a funny quirky youtube video and then edit it and slave away and get two views and <laughs> and then do it again and then do it again the next week and, and then in the next it's then, exhausting yeah. and i so, saw what you went through and it's exhausting it was, it was really impressive how long you were able to keep that up though honestly yeah well thank you it was really yeah <clears throat> it's really yeah. something well, I hope then I hope to do that with this as well. And I know that it's something that we can definitely come yeah, to. Yeah. Um, and it'll be a good time. So that's my answer. But now moving on to you. Now you are in the hot seat, sir. Um, how did you feel when I approached you about co-hosting and what made you say yes? I know timing is, is what you're, you know, what ultimately made you say yes. But like yeah. there had to be a switch in your brain. So I'm curious of like what that's like for you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely timing. And, like, we've always just had, like, a lot of these conversations where we're just, like, laughing a lot. It's mostly just, like, the funniest conversations mm -hmm. that we've had. And then <laughs> and then we're just thinking, like, it would have been so funny to, like, have this up and other people see this, watch this, and, and just laugh, you know? Mm -hmm. And until finally recently, like, it's been happening, like, this year, I think, where it's happened the most. And then we're just, I was just like, you know what? I, I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll join you for the podcast. And that's pretty much what happened. Mm -hmm. I can't exactly pinpoint which conversation it was, but 
I just know this year has really like been the deciding factor mm-hmm. of finally getting this out here. Mm-hmm. Cause I was just thinking about it right now. And I think that we had this conversation in the beginning of the year in on new year's. Cause I think your brother asked, like we were sitting down cause we were the only ones up. It was like, three o'clock oh, in the morning yeah. <laughs> and he asked like oh what do you want to do like whatever you know those deep conversations yeah. that happen late at night and i was like i really want to do a podcast i really want to do it but like i still at that point i was like i don't know how i don't know when and and i think i had mentioned too i had like nudged at you i was like but he doesn't want to do it with me and you were like no whatever I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah like in january you weren't ready but then you know mm-hmm. yeah and i've noticed that a lot too which I appreciate um, that you've been like trying new things. A, a lot. lot of new things. I know. A lot. I know. I mean, I also put it in our in our vows too. And you're. That I would try a lot more things with you, and mm-hmm. I've been trying to stay true to that. And we're, you're gonna have so much fun with me now because you <laughs> want to try new things, and yeah. before you, you know, weren't so open to things, and anyway. That was dumb. Your frontal lobe wasn't fully developed yet. Blame it on the lobe. <laughs> <laughs> um. So the next question someone asked was, what's the story behind the podcast name and what does it signify for you both? To be honest, when I was thinking about podcast names, I just came up with a bunch. Mm-hmm. I ran them past you. Yeah. A lot of them didn't make the cut. Um, some of the names there was in, quite a bit like, some of the names like na- five mm, I think I still have the the, Ooh, okay. the notes yeah we can but um, maybe touch on those a little bit sure real quick why not um, um <laughs> <laughs> this guy's just right here you know what it, it is what it, it is, is yeah what it is. honestly he'll it, he'll he'll end up going away if he can't see one of our faces um, it's fine because you get to see the back of Blue's head and yeah well um, so some of the names that we had were unscripted, from my POV, sounds good. I thought that was I, <laughs> sound no, a little clever. I, honestly, I don't really remember the like. <clears throat> I don't remember. Them I had anymore. good names. I had good names. You did. You did. I remember. In my it, room, like I would just start with eliminating one, mm-hmm. and then I'd be I'd look at the next ones, and then I'd be like, okay, out of all these, these sound the best, and then mm-hmm. I just that's how I did it, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't even remember. Like, it, yeah, it sounds like foreign to me right now. I know. I, I'm glad I kept these because this is nice. Yeah, this is this memory. Is good. But um, in my room because we're filming this in our room, so I thought it was fitting. Yeah, I I, I remember actually that one. That that was my like second choice right mm-hmm. there. On my mind, um, there was someone that I already had on my mind, mm-hmm. so that's why I put on my mind with Alyssa Ray. Also, there's someone that I think there's someone that currently has unscripted, which is why um. Our channel name is unscripted with Alyssa Ray. If it, I had it my way, it would just be unscripted. Um, but we're going to call it unscripted because it's unscripted. But for legal reasons, it's unscripted with Alyssa Ray. <laughs> oh, no. The boys are beefing. The boys are beefing. The boys the are tension. back in town. No comment. <laughs> no comment. Uh, the last one that I had was off the cuff. It's all right. But yeah, um, cute names. Are are you donating these out to the audience over here? Um, for anyone else yeah, who wants to start whatever their podcast, I don't care. It's no skin off my nose, so <laughs> I don't care. Take it if you want. Um, but yeah, there there really wasn't any story behind it. Um, behind the name, I just liked it. I thought it was cool, and then. When I started typing up like the description about what it would be about, I I really loved the yeah. It all came together like it was it was perfect. Yeah, I really loved just the description. It was like um, embrace the magic in the spontaneous and unscripted moments, and there's like find the beauty in the unplanned or the magic in the unplanned. And I was like, that's gorgeous, mm-hmm. love it. So yeah. so the next question is, what are the future goals for the podcast? We don't really have any set goals. <laughs> we don't have any aspirations. We, we don't have... <laughs> we're not... <laughs> we're not aiming for anything here. We're just... We're just, we're just like shooting the shits right now. We're vibing, like, yeah. 
We're, no, we're, <laughs> no, 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 not, not seriously. In all seriousness, I mean, like right now, this is just just, just seeing where where it's gonna go. Where it goes, obviously. We we, we wanted hope. to do this, and mm-hmm. we're we're doing this, and we're just gonna see where it goes. And but we do plan to grow and just see where this takes us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? I mean, a future goal, obviously, would be to get some sponsors for the podcast. Oh, and, definitely. like, you know, maybe make this, like, part of our, like, what we do. Because, like, oh, I, right, we both right. have jobs right That's now. True. And we could probably stop it, if if anything. You know? Um, also, just just growing the channel. Because this channel has been stagnant for a while at, like, 7 K followers, which mm-hmm. so very so very grateful for all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, but we do hope to increase that number, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, shooting for a ten K. Shooting for a milli. I meant I meant this year, so uh, it should have been more this year. Clear. Mm-hmm. Well, I would love that. That's a little ambitious, I feel. Shh. But gotta hey, shoot, gotta shoot big, you know. No, I gotta manifest gotta it. Dream actually, big. fun fact: I manifested you. Did you know? I did. How? How so? Would you like to elaborate? Elaborate. Um, because we have deep lore that the audience very deep <laughs> could hear at, at one point, but I don't know if today's the time. But we don't have enough time for that. Not not in the that. first episode. Mm-mm. Anyways, long story short, I'm not gonna get into it. Yeah, but this I did. Is, yeah, I, I did. I manifested there, you. There's and, another time, and that's that. And everybody knows it, and all my friends know it. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so if I, I want to ask you this question, I'm curious if we had the chance to interview anyone as a podcast or have anyone as a guest, who, who would it be? Hmm. And it could be dead or alive. Dead or it? They. No, no, no. Um, hmm. Honestly, I'm blinking here. Only one that's coming up in my head. J. Cole, bro. Okay. Right okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Interesting. But that's only c- only because I'm blinking and yeah, that's just you know yeah. But I'm sure I can think of somebody else. I can I just, think I can think of a few, but who, who this yours? is only on my mind because like I'm thinking like podcast realm and like oh, YouTube right, right. realm. See, you know? I, w- I was I guess I was just thinking. No, you too, were thinking like, like every yeah yeah. Everyone. So that's like. Tough I know. For me. I've always like had trouble with like you give me a topic, but it's like too broad, and then I'm just like, yeah, yeah I don't even know. I don't even me. know. I don't even want to think about that. Yeah. Um. But some people that I would love, obviously, the H three crew would be fun. Ethan and Ela, Jenna Marbles. Should she ever oh, decide to return to the internet, true. and she came Jenna and here, Julian? they both came here. And Bobby. And Bobby, Mr. Marbles. Anyways, um, anyone else? I'm sure there's more. I'm but, sure there's more. But yeah. but that's all I can think of right now. The last question. Uh, give us a sneak peek of what's coming up on the podcast. Any intriguing topics or guests? Let them know what's going on. Okay, so we had this idea. I guess we're kind of like taking it. I'm not sure if any any other podcasts have done it other than the H three podcast, which you, uh, you we watch a lot. Um, that well, frenemies. oh well, frenemies. Yeah, they used to do that. Is that every week they would come up with a new, um, like like cosplay of a character, but and it was just during Halloween. Up. Oh yeah, well yeah. Um, in October Mm -hmm. so in October we're planning to every week we put out this podcast we're gonna be somebody different Mm -hmm. and that's gonna be um, very fun so Mm -hmm. we're big on Halloween over here yeah Um, so I'm excited about that I love to have multiple costumes every year because I'm psychotic and (laughs) (laughs) and I love to dress up and no, she's out makeup. again. <laughs> yeah. And I, I didn't have that as a child, too. So it's also, you know, expressing expressing that for my inner child. Hmm. Um, but that's really fun. I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah, that's that's exciting. That's one of the big things that we're planning so far. Um, we're also 
planning on can, doing. Can you name one of the ones we're going to do? Mm. Or should we just surprise them? I think we should surprise we'll them because I, 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 I mean, I could say, but I don't know like which one's going to be like, which one I should keep a secret, which, which one, one you should, I should okay. tell, you know? So you'll have to see. True. You'll have to see. But um, we're also planning maybe next week to do a fashion oh, thrift right, right. challenge where we shop for each other at the thrift store because we've been doing that a lot lately. Yeah, that's been our that's been our thing. That's been our thing. We just Saturday morning we wake up, we get a coffee, we get breakfast, and go to the thrift store, and everything's good. Everything's peaches. That's how you start off a day. That's how you do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think that we'll we'll go ahead and end our first episode here because that's all we planned. So <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching the first episode. It obviously means so much to us. Um and we hope that we can keep you in our audience um on YouTube or on on Spotify or Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcast, because this will be available um, in video and audio formats. So, yeah, um, I'll leave the links to all of that, all of our socials and everything in the description. Um, we have a lot of exciting things coming up. Looking forward to that. And I'm ready. We ready. We ready. We killing them. Mm -mm. Go. Best friend. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, my laptop's dying, so I think we yeah, should I call think, it yeah, quits. Yeah, I saw that little yeah. notification. Mm -hmm. Any any closing remarks to add? Um, if you want to suggest something, leave something in the comments, and uh, that way we can take a look at them and maybe just do them for the next podcast. Um, mm -hmm. Follow, subscribe, share, and I think that's about it. Wraps up this episode, mm -hmm. right? Beautifully said, love. All right. Well, we will see you next time. We're going to be posting um, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday is going to be our schedule. I'm not entirely sure what time. I'm, I mean, I think possibly noon, maybe like three is when noon or three is when we'll probably post our videos. But yeah, um, stay tuned for more information on that. We love you. And that's all. That's all she wrote. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.